Hello Malta, I'm Tim Peake and I'm an astronaut with ESA, the European Space Agency. As you can see, I'm currently on Earth, but in 2016, I spent six months living and working on board the International Space Station, also known as the ISS. Today, I'm here to talk to all of you about why space is such an important topic in our daily lives, especially in Malta, and why we need as many people as possible to help the space industry to grow. First, let's ask the question, what has space ever done for us? Well, you may not be aware, but many of the technologies that we take for granted today are as a direct result of the space industry. For example, back in the 1990s, some astronomers were using radio waves to study black holes. They came across a problem in their experiment, but when they developed the technology to solve it, they realized they could use the same solution to invent Wi-Fi. This revolutionized worldwide connectivity. You may even be using it right now to watch this video. Wi-Fi, TV broadcasting, apps, and GPS on your mobile phones are just a few examples of the many advances in technology that have been achieved as a result of space activities. Another question I'm often asked is why should we do experiments in space? During my Principia mission to the ISS, I had to learn how to live in weightlessness, or what we call microgravity. I was able to perform unique experiments in microgravity that would be impossible on Earth. This is because when you effectively remove gravity, many things change, including the human body. Our cardiovascular system, immune system, skin, bones, muscles, and even eyesight undergo significant changes which enable us to learn about many diseases, such as osteoporosis, diabetes, and motor neurone disease, and identify better treatments for people on Earth. We're also pushing the boundaries of scientific knowledge in many other fields, such as developing new materials which are stronger and lighter, or improving renewable energy sources. So what's the significance for Malta? It's important to realize that space missions aren't just about looking out into space, but also to look back down on our planet. Earth observation is when we use data from satellites that orbit Earth to benefit us all. ESA's Sentinel-1 satellites use radar for real-time land and sea imaging. This means we can react quickly to natural disasters or oil spills in the Mediterranean Ocean, which pose a threat to marine life and even human life if they reach the coasts of islands like Malta. One such oil spill 20 kilometers long was recorded, monitored, and safely dealt with in October 2018. These high-resolution images from Sentinel-1 allow us to see incredible details, regardless of the weather conditions. We can even monitor shipping lanes and even count the exact number of ships off the Maltese coast to better understand their movements. Also, when ESA was improving the communication systems for the Sentinel-2B satellites in 2017, we actually used Malta to test it, and we took some wonderful photos of your beautiful country. By processing images from different wavelengths of light, like infrared, we can construct false color thermal images to create a heat map of Sicily and Malta. It's almost like a piece of art. You can see swirls from the ocean currents and a hot spot where Mount Etna is. We could predict a volcanic eruption if we see the temperature increase on this map, allowing us to limit the impact on surrounding life and infrastructure. By predicting these events in advance from satellite data, governments can make preparations to safeguard everyone. In March 2018, Malta and ESA strengthened their cooperation by signing an implementation agreement. This means that the Malta Council for Science and Technology has been able to coordinate a space research funding program that is open to all Maltese entities. It provides financial and technical support for research, development, and innovation in Malta's downstream satellite Earth observation sector. It's an amazing opportunity to build capacity for startup companies, research, and public institutions especially if you want to be involved in a project that processes data from these satellites. And this is why I want to appeal to the most important people for the future, the young people of Malta. Through the Maltese Space Education Program, ESA's hands-on school projects are now open to all students in Malta. You can take part in the Malta CanSat competition, a challenge to build your own microsatellite and launch it up to several hundred meters. There's also the European AstroPi Challenge to program your own experiment and have it run on the ISS to collect data from space. Even more activities will hopefully become available to you soon to give you invaluable experience of real space projects. 
you will learn skills that are vital, not just for the space industry, but also for many other careers. You don't need to be a mastermind genius. If you're hardworking, a good team player, and are passionate about what you do, then you too can work in the space industry. My key message that I'm sending to you today is that space is much more than stars, planets, and rocket science. We can learn so much about Earth to gain a new perspective on humanity, and Malta will have an important role to play in the future. I encourage all young people and professionals to get involved. Take advantage of the opportunities offered by ESA and the Malta Council for Science and Technology. I can't wait to see what Malta will achieve in the future.